Today I just wanted to share five things that are helping me as I'm working towards a goal that's tied to some fear and past pain. And hopefully it can help you too if you're working towards something similar as well. Um, so number one, the first thing is to acknowledge your fear and um, not always try to rationalize your way out of it. Um, if there's something, even if it seems insignificant, but that has been tied to an experience in the past that's created pain in your life, it's really easy to be afraid of things associated with it or when you're trying to do it again. Um, and so, for example, um, for me, it's trying to play soccer again, and that's that's scary because I've had two injuries related to it. And so even something as small as putting my cleats on again, um, might seem small, but I can acknowledge that and be like, that makes sense and I'm scared because last time I put I had cleats on was when I got hurt. So just acknowledging it and not, you know, it's one thing I, I prefer to say I'm afraid of something, um, even though I'm scared of it and I'm going to do it instead of saying I'm going to do it and just pretend I'm not scared of it. Um, and just not brushing it under the rug, but actually acknowledging it and being able to sympathize with yourself and be like, I see that this is scary and we're gonna do it too. And inviting God into that and being like, God, I'm, I'm really scared in this moment. Um, can you please protect me? And then just going and doing it. Um, and then second, uh, second tip is to celebrate the little victories and not to underplay them. Um, and a little victory can look very different for different people. And I tend to like to quantify what counts as a victory or a success. Um, so just like I was talking about with my cleats, that was a little thing that was that was tied to a lot of fear and, and anxiety related to my past experiences. And so in my head, I was like, well, if I go out and put my tennis shoes on and do a bunch of sprints, like I can quantify that. I, I put out a lot of physical exertion into that. Um, but actually like the emotional and mental exertion of just the act of putting my cleats on, even if that's all I do, and even if all I do is just walk around, that is so much more impactful in my journey to playing again. So, um, and I can celebrate that. When I did that, it was amazing. And um, yeah, it was super cool. And then number three is create low stake goals that are obtainable. And so these low stake goals kind of provide a structure for like, you have a goal in mind and you need to work your way to that. Having goals is good but having them be obtainable and low pressure um, can create more feelings of success in that area. Um, so one example for me is just trying to get my touch back with soccer and doing cones. Um, I set in my mind, once I realized I'm trying to be perfect and try to do everything like I used to do, like maybe I just set this goal as I'm just gonna go through this cone drill three, four times and that'll be a success just doing it. Not perfection, but just doing it and by doing it you get better so it's gonna help you along the way and it's gonna help structure that progress towards that goal but it's not creating so much pressure around it and um, the need for perfection and then fourth acknowledge how you've changed and then adjust your expectations related to that so physically I have changed like I my Achilles was broken and then it was put back together again and I have a brace in my knee around one of my uh, ligaments. So physically I've changed and so I have the same body, but in a way I kind of have a new body cause it's a little different now anatomically. So um, I think it can be really easy to expect myself to just be able to do everything the same way that I used to playing soccer and whatnot. But the reality is my body has changed. So the way I do things is gonna change a little bit. And so instead of shaming my body or expecting it to be like this and it's not and getting frustrated, instead I can just approach um, approach playing with, a, with optimism and curiosity. Like, oh, this is my new body. Let's see what it can do. Um, it might, there might be things where it never gets to that same level, like in terms of explosiveness and acceleration. But other things, it's like a discovery journey. Like, okay, what can I do? Instead of a, oh, I should be able to do this. And if I don't, then I'm a failure. It's just, let's see and be excited about it and celebrate those things that I can get to. And then the last thing is to just surround yourself with people who encourage you and support you and can empathize with you. Um, and I think this has been really, really important for me. Even people who don't fully understand like soccer or sports, um, cause that's the area that I'm working towards right now but just people who have walked through something similar and just encourage you and people that 
want to hear about your little successes. I think that's really important who celebrate those with you. And then by you sharing about that, you can also encourage them in whatever area of their life that they're working towards, any area that's they're a little afraid of, um, that just takes a big jump um, to get to. So, and then also just inviting the Lord into it because I find that when I'm in a moment, maybe I'm just doing like a box jump or something and I'm about to put a lot of load onto my Achilles um, and I'm scared. I just let the Lord know, say, I'm scared. Please protect me. Um, and just inviting him into that. And it just, just reminds me that I'm not alone in it. And then I do it. And, and it's just, it's much better just to let him know I'm scared, even in that second before doing a drill or an exercise. Um, because he does care. He really does care. And um, he wants to know how we're feeling. And so, yeah, those are just my five tips about um, ways that can help if you're trying to reach a goal and it's a little scary and it's tied to things in the past and it all makes sense that there would be fear but you can still do it so hope that was encouraging and helpful to somebody and hope you have a great day